businesses, period. And what I will do is the same thing we did in our administration. There will be an absolute wall between personal and private uh, and, and, and the government. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business Yes, I stand by that statement. Okay, let's take a look at your screen. Biden was photographed. Guess what? Look at that picture with Hunter's foreign business partners, one from Mexico and business associates from Kazakhstan. He got a beautiful sports car from them. Here with reaction, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Before we get to that, Senator, I think it's important to note uh, I am supporting your reelection. You've done a great job for the people of Wisconsin. Um, you are being targeted by more money from outside the state of Wisconsin, I think, than any other Senate candidate running this, this cycle. Am I accurate in that information? Yes, yeah, Sean. I've, so far, I've been out spent about 19.3 million to 5 million. And I don't even have a Democrat opponent, but what I have is I have the media that have been trying to take me out for about the last 18 months. So I'm going to need a lot of help. Ron Johns for Senate.com. If you want me to con continue to pursue these investigations, I'll need that financial help. Again, Ron Johnson for Senate.com. Where, where is this money uh, targeted against you coming from? Do we know? Well, it's coming from those dark money groups that uh, Democrats just hate until they tap into it to use it to try and uh, engage in the politics of personal destruction. And that's what's so despicable about this, uh, Sean, is they just lie, they distort, uh, and they engage in the politics of personal destruction. That They can't run on their record, obviously. They can't run on their open borders and, uh, you know, 40-year high inflation and record gas prices and the embarrassing and dangerous uh, surrender in Afghanistan. All they can do is tear other people down and that's what they do. And they do it quite effectively, which is why I need help at Ron Johns for Senate.com. You know, I know the people of Wisconsin are smart. They're going to see right through this. Let me ask you, we just showed that Joe Biden lied. Joe Biden said he never talked to Hunter one time about his foreign business dealings. We got pictures to the contrary. We also have $5.2 million, apparently, uh, a discrepancy in his financial disclosure and tax forms. Uh, where are we supposed to suspect that money came from? Well, in addition, now we know from an email that Joe was apparently paying for Hunter's legal bills to set up his uh, Chinese joint venture. Uh, when he was transitioning, I think, out of his sweet deal with Burisma into 2017 when uh, th those funds were running out. So he had to set up a, a new business venture in China. And Joe Biden was apparently paying for those legal fees. So, uh, listen, President Biden has lied repeatedly to the American public, but the media is not calling him on it. And, you know, w one thing that's going to be on the ballot uh, in November is truth versus lies and distortion. And you'll notice these uh, revelations, you know, the, the missing $5.2 million worth of uh, income. Those are being reported by the Daily Mail. They're being reported by the New York Post, not the, not the uh, newspaper of record, the New York Times and the Washington Post. They're, oh, they're no, just they, doing their modified limited hangout, they, they, just telling they, as, as little as they possibly can. And big tech protected him. Let me ask you a final question. When you look at the, the Biden family syndicate and their dealings in China, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and elsewhere, can't one conclude logically that with all the money this family is making from these foreign countries, uh, even during the time he's vice president, that that would compromise Joe Biden in terms of his ability to deal with, with Russia, China? Like, why would he ever give a waiver to the Nord Stream 2 pipeline while simultaneously canceling the Keystone XL pipeline. Well, and also canceling the China initiative, uh, which was the Department of Justice uh, uh, investigation into Chinese theft of our intellectual property on, on un American universities. So, no, Tony Bobulinski was right. President Biden is compromised. He was compromised. Chuck Ch Grassley and I tried to warn America, but the press suppressed it. Yeah. Well, I hope the people of Wisconsin understand all this money. I want to know where it's coming from because I don't believe it's coming from the good people of Wisconsin, and they need to be aware of that. Uh, Senator, good to see you. Thank you. Straight ahead. The great one, Mark Levin. He is back on Twitter after Elon Musk agreed to purchase a social media platform. He'll tell us why, and he has a message for big tech. And later, police have just released new videos related to the fatal shooting on the movie set Rust, including Alec Baldwin holding the gun 